Hi, hello, welcome. It's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are looking at the stamp set Whale Done uh, that comes with a coordinating punch, uh, which is the Whale Builder Punch. Uh, and you see that on there? Maybe not. Turn it over. You can always see it better on the back, I feel. <laughs> it's just dark when it's on the lights, and then if I do that, it gets really shiny. So, But you'll see it when I punch it out anyway. Um, and then we're also using these new acetate card boxes. These are the three and one eighth by three and one eighth. So they're perfect for our little envelopes and cards that you can make. Um, so it's just a little thank you gift, really. I think I would give this to somebody to say thank you for something that they'd done. Uh, and then inside we have four little cards. Again, all using the same way all done suite. So here we go. You're kind of a big deal. I think I'd give that to somebody in my team or Sean. Uh, thanks a ton. I love these cute little um, seashell sequins. Uh, well done again. Oh no, we haven't done well done again, but it's like a big deal. But this time with a whale. <laughs> I love the puns. And then this is a little birthday card. Hoping all your birthday fishes come true. And it's got that gorgeous little turtle on it. It's so cute. So you will need a dauber for this uh, if you're following along at home. Um, if you haven't got the stamp set and the punch it yet, then it is worth grabbing them from my store because I think I just think they're so cute. You can do so much with them and we'll be doing whales all this week. So we'll have whales today, whales tomorrow <laughs> um, and we'll just be playing with all the all the stuff on here. I'm going to change up a couple of the colours on the card bases, see how we go with that, uh, because there's so many colours that do coordinate with this set, including Just Jade. I've got a little one already done. Um, this is Blackberry Bliss and Pretty Peacock. So the first thing you're going to want to do is chop out some card bases. OK, so I'll pop those over there for a second. And the stamps, uh, the ink that we're using is um, again coordinating colours so Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, Pretty Peacock and the gorgeous Granny Apple Green. Love that, it's such a gorgeous colour. So you're going to put your cardstock in, take it over to the six inches and then cut, turn it round uh, and at this point I actually take it to three inches and run my score, score to uh, blade down, all the way down because then you've already got them scored when you cut them. Okay, so turn that around, cut at three inches. One. Now you're going to get three out of this, but you don't. We're not going to use all of them. Um, you could make them all the same. So you could make, you know, three or four from Pretty Peacock. But I'm just, I'm just doing this so that I've got some card bases ready for another project, another time maybe. Uh, like I did with my Just Jade. I had one of those spare. Uh, so I'm just going to mix and match, but I'm going to do them all the same. So six inches, cut down, take it across to three. So this is great for those who live in North America because you're actually being able to follow along for, with me for a change. If you are in Europe and you want to do it in, in centimetres, then you would cut at 15 and you would score at seven and a half. OK, um, it's a little bit smaller, but they still fit in our envelopes and they still fit brilliantly in the little boxes. Um, however, I'm going to use inches in this instance, but I'll put the different measurements up on my blog so that you can see what they would be if it was in centimetres, because I like to keep everybody happy and crafting along with me. So we'll do both. Normally I only do centimetres because normally I'm working on our size cards, which is completely different cardstock to the North American cardstock. So this is like a lucky one <laughs> for my North American friends. Um, now these are not quite three by three. OK, they're smaller on one side. So don't get those confused with the cards with the cards that you've just cut. So I want to do four. I think I'm going to do two of those, two of those and one of those just to add a little bit of difference in. Um, and then I've pre-cut for myself some basey bits. And this is out of the Whale of a Time 6x6 designer series paper. And as you can see, I've chopped up quite a lot of this. I've been playing with this a lot. Um, lots of different cards. I made Sean's um, 
Sean's birthday card from this paper. Uh, I've I've done a lot, and also um, I've had a lot of people send me cards with these on. I think it's a really popular popular set at the moment. So I love the turtles. Here's the whales. Now these whales, just so that you know, you can actually punch them out if you wanted to. So if you wanted, you could just take one of these. Rather than stamping, you could just punch the whale out like this. Okay. Um, and we're, so we're going to keep him. It does take a chunk out of your paper, but that's that's fine. You know, that's what it's designed for, as it were. So we, we don't need the other bits of him, but we'll just keep him. Okay. So you can do that if you want. Or you, we can stamp him. We're going to stamp him later. But I just wanted to show you that some of the cardstock uh, papers you can use with the punch. Um, these you can cut out by hand. I've, I see my um, my friend sent me a card with him on for my birthday. So great, so cute. Um, so yeah, this one's uh, like um, the ocean current, which is fab. Then we've got some sunlight coming down into a coral reef. Some more whales, different colour whales that could be punched. So you could punch out a grey whale or a blue whale or a blackberry bliss whale. This one's um, the back of the of the turtles. This one's kind of like a mush, meshy mashup, mashup. That's what I'm looking at. All the different things, you know, crabs and shells and turtles and uh, jellyfish and whales and yeah just loads of lovely stuff on here i like this one particularly it's got little crabs crawling along the the floor it's kind of like you're looking through some kind of cave system i love that um and then lots of seaweed this is cute look the fish all going around in a swirl i think that's lovely uh, more more whales more seabed this time the light's coming in from this side I love all these. They're just great, aren't they? Just brilliant ideas to do. I think we come. Oh, and then jellyfish. Lots and lots of jellyfish. That's beautiful background. And then we've got some, yay, some little seahorses. And there's a little seahorse stamp as well. It's so great. And then I think we're back to the beginning again. Yeah. So then on the other side, we've got our more plain, you know, plainer designs. But look at this beautiful Just Jade Pretty Peacock sea, sea you know, waves. And then sort of ferny things, lovely. And then little bumblebee fishes. <laughs> and then just jade fishes. So it uses two of our in colours. This gorgeous sort of um, sea scene again, but this time in Night of Navy, Pacific Point and Balmy Blue. Coral, like that. Fishes, lovely. More coral. Uh, this is like just bubbles. Just water bubbles, more of the bumblebee, more of the sea. Let's have a look. Green coral, that's nice. Granny apple green. And then I think we're back to the beginning again. Yeah, there we go. So lots of lovely things. Um, I did my normal uh, thing and I've got my, my cardstock uh, piece here. So I can just show you here all the colours that it goes with. Look at this. It's not just it just looks fantastic all these colors that it matches with i mean you you've got to have some of these in your collection so you're bound to be able to find something that would match with it it's just fab just fab right okay enough of me going on about the marvelous paper that i love so much let's work on some stamping so as i say we're going to use a stamp set i like him punched out so i'm going to put him i might put him on the on the front this time rather than a, a stamped version um but let's just get going with our little cards. So these are really fast. You know, I cut three at a time on one sheet of paper. Yes, you might want to put a little inner in, but you know, if you, you could make them white if you wanted to. You don't have to use coloured card for the background. I just like to do it because I like colours and they work so well. Okay, but they still have a leading edge, so make sure that you get them around the right way. Okay, because they'll always fold with one side slightly longer than the other that way um, I'm going to go with this on my front I think or did I do another piece of this can't remember I chose different colors this time different bits and pieces um, so we could have a look at some of the different sides so I really like the crab on there I think that's cute he looks good on there and then we'll have some 
seahorses on the jade I think because that just looks because these are jade seahorses so that works well then we'll put the oh no we were going to have the yeah no I think that's better the pacific point on there looks stunning and then we'll have these two one there and one here that's cool yeah and then we'll do that brilliant okay so now we know which ones we're going for. Um, now we can kind of work out what we're doing. So on the seahorses, for example, we did this one before. So let's do that. I'm going to stamp a whale, but I'm going to pop this on first. So we'll stamp. I'll just glue this down. Really simple, really quick and easy. Once you work out which bits of paper you want, that's the hardest bit and which colours you're going to put them on. Of course, if you put them on white, then it's all really easy. But if, like me, you've decided to put them on different colours, then um, there, then you get a bit stuck. So <laughs> you have to think of it. No, that's OK. There we go. This one, I like it. It's kind of like in the depths, this one, isn't it? You know, really deep down. Lovely. There we go. And I like this coral on this side. I mean, the problem is I like all the sides and that, that's what makes it difficult. But a little gift like this is so nice to make, especially with Christmas coming up. You know, you could make a little set of cards, give them out as presents. And then they've always got a card to send back to you, which is <laughs> which is lovely. Oh, and I whoops, put that down and I didn't mean to do that yet. Never mind, because I'm talking. Shush, Pip. You'll notice this is the same paper as this. This is the top. This is the bottom. So you get you can get two, you can get four fronts out of one sheet of your designer series paper, which I think is pretty smashing. OK, so now I want to start stamping. Oh, I'm creaking like a good in here. Sorry, my chair is very creaky at the moment. I don't know why. We're going to go thanks a ton and we're going to put that in Blackberry Bliss. I just need to make sure you can see me coming up. Oops. There we go. Thanks a ton. Oh, I didn't leave it that very long. Oh, that's okay. We'll just change it up. Changing it up on the fly. So we'll do that. We'll have a, maybe a bit of granny apple green to go with that, I think. Yeah, a bit of granny apple green can go, oh, look, go over and under. I want to put this on here. I think this is going to look nice on here, like so. And then I tied a bit of ribbon, so I just need to work out how long this is going to be. We could, it would go all the way side to side, but I quite like the idea of it just sort of hanging over, maybe hanging over like that. So I'm just going to chop off here, and then we can work that out later where that's going to go. Do you see what I mean? We can always chop off that piece later. So I think it will be. I think it'll look good like that. Okay, so let's do that now. Chop that off, and then you know where your line is, pretty much. Just make sure you don't chop your card off at the same time. I'm going to wrap this first in ribbon. This is the beautiful pool pool party sheer ribbon that comes with it. Gorgeous, 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 and very nice tied in a little. Knot. I'm going to just do it in a double knot because it's so thin but it's so tiny I mean you could do a beautiful huge bow in this but I think for this little card just tying it in a double knot would work nicely there we go then we can trim it to however long we want like so there we go and that's going to sit nicely then on top of here. We're going to um, put that up on dimensionals. The good thing is because it's so thin, you can put the dimensionals on top of the ribbon and it doesn't add any sort of bulk to the dimensional, doesn't make a change in its height. You know, like some of the thick ribbons really change the height of the dimensional. So I've waffled on for ages in this video. I apologize. Right, so this one we're going to just hang over like so. There we go. And then we'll stick this down straight onto the card base. You don't want to make them too high 
um, or too um, dimensional. Is that a word? Dimensional. You don't, you don't want to make them too um, tall or high because they are little cards and they're going in little envelopes. Okay, there we go. That's nice. Uh, and then we can put some sparkles on. I think it needs a few sparkles. Now, you can use your fine tip glue pen for these, but you do have to leave your fine tip glue to dry a little. Um, just needs to go off a smidge before you put your sequins on. So I'm going to put a couple of dot, dot, put one there, put one up there, down there, up here. One, two, three, four, five, five, that's nice. Odd numbers are better. And then always make sure that you replace your needle-like um, pokey thing into that. And then get our take your pick tool. It's perfect for these. Okay. And I'm just going to go with the dark blue. I just want to bring out the dark blue tones. So just make sure it's just not quite... Um, fresh if you know what I mean give yourself some time to put your sequins on the good thing about this is even if it comes through the hole it will dry clear so you won't have any stickiness and they are hopefully getting these back in stock they've been out of stock for ages all because of some customs issue very annoying but hopefully they will be back like Arnold Schwarzenegger um, before very long, uh, which is good. And then you'll be able to use it. You can use Tombow, our multi-purpose glue, of course. I've used that lots of times for sequins. But sometimes you do just get a little bit poking through afterwards that's a bit sticky. But I just use a little bit of talc then. There we go. That's very sparkly. That's pretty, huh? That's a ton. Nice. Okay, so that's that one. And then next up, we're going to do our whale. Now, who knew that a whale could look so good in Blackberry Bliss? Okay, it does look great in Blackberry Bliss, Blackberry Bliss. But it also looks good in Pretty Peacock. So this time I'm going to do it in Pretty Peacock. And then I'm going to use, actually I'm going to use some Just Jade for my sentiment. Okay, so we're going to need some spare Whisper White cardstock and our mat, our pierce mat. Here we go. Because it is photopolymer, so you need to make sure that you've got a good um, connection. And you're not pressing hard, you're just pressing, making sure it's getting all the ink absorbed into it. Look at that. Isn't he a lovely whale? So happy. I feel, I feel very happy this well. And then we're going to stamp the sentiment in just jade. And this one's going to be whale done. That's, where's whale done? There we go. Whale done. Because those match perfectly together. Hopefully, oh, I'm a bit low. Sorry. Let's come up a bit better. Hopefully you can see me that a bit better now. Okay. So we'll punch him out. Now, don't try and do a whole line of them um, above, one above the other because when you punch out, these little things pop out. So what you have here is the ability to build a whole whale. whale. Okay. So at the moment, I'm just going to use the whale piece. I don't need these pieces. And then this is rubbish. I always keep the eyes and everything though, just because, you know, you never know when you're going to need one. Oh, I've been putting my eye way too high. It's right down here. Hmm. must remember that for putting my eyes on. Right, so now we're going to pop him up on here. See, he's going to go there very nicely. Again, just chop off your end of your whale done. Okay. Turn that straight. And I'm going to put this down first, which sort of seems daft, but actually it works better. That's a little crooked. Oh yeah, just a bit. There we go. I'm just too lazy to get out my little mini guillotine, but there you go. Um, where's my dimensionals gone? 
Oh, there they are. Pop this on. But you need to be able to leave just a little bit of room, so don't put them right up to the top. Okay, leave us, uh, make sure they're sort of in the middle. Okay. Having done them upside down, but that's okay, it'll work. Pop that on there, and then again, on dimensionals, your whale. Now, I like to make sure he's very firm and not going to come out. Not going to get soggy. And I like to put a little tiny one on his tail. So just a mini dimensional just fits nicely in there in his tail. Take these over. And then he sits sort of just underneath there like so. And then we're going to put some um, sequins on again. This time the sequins are going to be representative of him blowing out some water. Which I thought was a really good idea. Case this one from the catalogue. Because sometimes they just have the best ideas and this one was so cute. In fact, the, the idea for these four cards came from the catalogue. And I thought, oh, they would fit in our lovely little boxes. So I did the I did the whole kind of thing from that. Um, again, just sort of waft. You could just leave them like that. And then when they dry, they dry like clear dots. In fact, I might actually just do that because they've gone on really nice. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just leave those as clear dots. And then you'll see what I mean, because it's like a resin. So it dries um, just solidly. I like that idea. OK, he's going over there with dry dots, but you have to make sure that you leave him to dry. That will take probably about 24 hours to be completely dry. So just make sure that you give yourself enough time. Now, on this one, we're going to do some stamping and then I'm going to, as if by magic, do some die cutting. Um, we're going to use the Pretty Peacock ink again and... We're going to stamp this. I just want to show you how it stamps. It stamps beautifully. Um, and it has these little sort of squiggly font. So it's not like solid. So it's not solid. It's got like little squiggly lines. I love it. It's just the little details that make these stamps so pretty. Okay. So then we're going to big shot that. And I've used the square layering dies and I've also done a square layering scalloped one behind in granny apple green because I love granny apple green and it of course it coordinates with all this um, so we're going to pop him on and then I'm going to put him like so there we go pop him on here with the crab I like that with the crab move it up to the top maybe so the crab's a little bit more obvious and probably not double mount him I did double I double mounted the other one but I don't think I'm going to double mount this one there we go you can just fit four note cards into the box and the envelopes are a little tight because they are the same size pretty much as the inside measurement of the box but they do fit you know they fit well with four I wouldn't stuff in try and stuff more than four in because um, you might just not do so good there um, and then let's pop some more pop some more of these on put one up here one two three four and then five down here Eat uneven numbers obviously as always yeah. unless it's something like a border I always don't do uneven numbers so let's get the where are they sequins I like these because they have so many different colors but they do have these um, beautiful pink shells and I, I kind of want to put one here on this now if you want to do them the right way round so that they're sort of facing out you need a bit of a larger dot of glue so that it will work with the 
height of the shell but see that works that's going to work okay there i think oh no maybe not come on you just need to just need to dry i think there we go then i'll stick a blue one up there and then we've got these lovely sort of little um almost gold looking ones where are they yeah it's almost like a gold it's like a greeny gold i think they're i guess they're supposed to be pool party and then we've got some of these more tiny blue ones like whitish blue ones and then i think probably another goldy one down here there we go there so that's that's cute <laughs> so that's that one and then for the last card we're going to stamp on here so i really shouldn't have stuck it down before i did my stamping but never mind who cares it's all fun um so we're going to where's my calypso coral that's what we need calypso coral get rid of those for a moment put the lid back on so you don't don't scatter them everywhere and then we're going to just stamp some fishes so we like to have fishes and they go nicely into a shoal like so okay so we've got fishes so cute and then we will put our we've got a green granny green granny apple green strip oh that's a little large maybe i'll do it a bit higher might do a bit higher there we go like that onto which we're going to stamp i think i used different i used different papers last time so we're going to stamp this in um pretty peacock so that it shows up i mean you could also um emboss this in white that's also good uh, on a, onto a darker piece that would also work hoping all your birthday fishes come true so cute like that and then we're going to stamp our um what's his name turtle that's the word i'm looking for but we need a dauber because we're going to add the pretty peacock um, on top so we're going to ink him in granny apple green like so then we're going to put him down make sure he's well inked okay then we're going to put him down then we're going to use some pretty peacock and just uh, go around the edges so the bottom of his shell, his flippers, his head, all in pretty peacock, but leaving his top of his shell granny apple green. Does that make sense? Hopefully that does make sense. And then we're going to stamp him down like so, and that's how you get a multicoloured turtle. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do there. And then we're going to cut him out. Now I haven't done one of these earlier, I should have done really. But um, you don't need to see me cutting out. So by the time you come back, he will be done. OK, then it's just a question of putting this together. I've got another strip of granny apple green coral. I just want to put that behind that. So we've got a kind of double layer of green going on. I mean, every time I turn this paper over, I'm just like, oh, wow. So, so gorgeous. I do want to leave a little bit of the grasses showing. There we go. Pop this down flat. Like so. I'm going to leave a little piece top and bottom, but a smaller line at the top, bigger at the bottom. Then mini dimensionals for our lovely turtle, because he's only little. Can just about fit one on his little paw no it's not a paw is it i don't know what they call that fin they call them fins i don't know they must turtles must have a name for their and uh, i don't think they're paws 
Maybe they're fins. It would be more sensible to be a fin. I'm sure one of you is going to tell me, so that's great. You can just add that in the comments. This is what turtles call their flippers. Are they flippers? Well, I don't know. This is what turtles call their whatever they are. Um, and then we're just going to have him swimming up against the fishes that way, like so. And then I don't think I added any more extra bling on that one. Oh, I did. I did add bling on that one. Do we think we need maybe just a little bit down here? Maybe just a little bit down here. Because he's a little bit bare down here, so we might just do three down here. One, two, three. There we go. Leave that for a second. I want to put my pin back in. Try not to leave it open whilst you're doing all your projects because that's definitely when it will clog. Um, you really don't want it to clog. Do the bigger ones, I think. One, and then another little one of these ones just there. There we go. Nice. Okay, so the final piece of the puzzle is to do the box. And remember, we punched this little guy out before, so he's going on the front. Uh, and I've got some Granny Apple Green. This is three by three, and then again, this is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, and this is one and a quarter centimetre uh, inches just to give it a bit of a banding across there I thought we could do with some waves to be jumping in and out of um, so that's what's going on the front and then we're going to just stamp thanks a ton on the front um, we're going to go granny apple green for that and I know that this is just about the right size width so we'll just stamp him on like so and then I'll cut him off and I am going to use my trimmer for that just because I want to make sure it's straight. That's a little bit of a long, a long cut for me to make sure I am right. Yeah, about, what's that, three quarters of an inch. There we go. Okay, so now we have all our pieces. Now it's just a question of putting them together. And the box... You need to, it, they come flat packed like this, so you just need to fold them, score all their lines, score all of these lines, this one, and then fold this one in and score, like not score, but like really crease it well so that they don't pop back out again. Okay. And I always think these boxes, you know, you could. You probably should do them so that the um, all of the these um, what are they called flappy bits are at the back. But I actually think if you're going to give a gift to somebody, they get they're going to want to open it straight away from the front. So you need to just remember how people are going to use your gifts um, before you decide where you're going to put your front. Now that needs a little bit more creasing. If it pops up like that. See, it's popping up at this corner. That means that this didn't get a good crease down. Okay. Now that should... Yeah. Sorted it. Perfect. If in doubt, make it your bottom. But yeah, they're, they're working great. Now, so that's all now together. Really easy. And then you just have to decorate it. So I will put on the flat layers first. Then I'll stick it to my box and then I'll do the the other decoration because we're going to use the Stampin' Seal Plus and the Stampin' Seal Plus needs to, um, you need a flat surface really to pop that on. Do it this way or this way, this way I think, like so. Just love that Pacific point against the Granny Apple Green. But you know that they all work together so it's fine to put some of this on. Bit of dark just jade pretty peacock almost coming in okay you no i've made that move don't make it move <laughs> there we go so that's flat now these ones i'm going to put on dimensionals so now i'm going to turn it over and i'm going to put it on my box and for this it's the stampin seal plus this is new but it's great for going on to acetate or where you need a really firm um, 
really firm connection or adhesion. Take the lid off, okay, and then roll it down and it will just lift off and break off on a on one of its perforations and then just get it going again there we go you kind of just lift it and it works it just you just have to get it to a cut these are all perforated it's brilliant really cool so then stick that down just like so and it just attaches itself perfectly it's brilliant stuff look at that okay put the lid back on and then you can keep it in this little pouchy thing so the lid doesn't come off like that okay so last but not least we're going to put on we're going to put on our sentiment and then our whale and I'm not going to put sequins on the front of it. That's just my choice. You can tie some ribbon around it, put some sequins on it. You can do whatever you like. Um, that's the joy of being of it being your your box and your creativity. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pop my whale on. I just want him to sort of take centre stage because he's a lovely whale. And then always a little one just on the fins there these I know are called fins tail fins so there we go and then he's gonna sit above the waves like that look at that breaching cool okay so on this one I put a couple of sequins on for his um, what's coming out of his little blowhole there you can do that if you want to uh, I think I'm just going to leave him plain. So we have uh, the big deal, the turtle. No, that's the other one. This big, no, which one's this? Oh, I forgot to put my little ribbon on. Oh, well, never mind. So <laughs> there we go. I'm doing the two different packets here. Right. And then this one, I think. Oh, no, this one with the jade. This one here. This one here okay there we go so original box thanks a ton well done turtle you're kind of a big deal I forgot that ribbon that's nice that bit extra there and then these ones turtle thanks a ton I love that colorway you're kind of a big deal more sequins a little shell and well done and here we've got the just the little bubbles just coming out with that um, just with the clear fine tip glue pen and then for the envelopes I literally just um, just grab some envelopes and again you could stamp them if you wanted to so you could put little fishes on them or you could put um, turtles or whatever you wanted on them and then you get a pack of these pack of these pop them together and they will fit inside your box like so as I say it's it's just they're just the right sort of size to go in they are exactly the size of the box okay so um, that's why I say don't overstuff them but yeah pretty cool huh? I hope you've enjoyed your my little my my little well done guide to some little cards and a little notebook little box I think they make a great gift for anybody so all the details are below check out my website um, there's a link to my blog where you can see the measurements and um, all the pictures up close and personal of these little cards and I will see you again next time thanks ever so much for watching you take care now bye bye